Loved ones gathered at a vigil tonight to remember a Spartanburg County man who was found in a shallow grave. 7 News' Alessandra Young explains how that community is coming together. Family and friends all showed up to show love and support for 28-year-old Devontae Griffin, who was found dead in a shallow grave in late April. His loved ones tell me they will not stop seeking justice for him. Not Investigators say Devontae Griffin, or Nunu, as he was called by his family members, was reported missing by his mother on March 30th. Authorities say they found him dead almost a month later in a shallow grave behind the Evans Acres neighborhood on April 26th. The one deserves to have been treated the way he was treated. Like, he was just thrown away. Like, he had people who love him. To love him still to this day. The Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office has named two people of interest in this case. Griffin's on and off again girlfriend, 28 year old Jessica Strachan, and 33 year old Taurus Crook. Officials say Strachan was the last person to be seen with Griffin on March 29th. She is currently being held at the Spartanburg County Detention Center. Authorities say she violated her home detention. She's charged with obstruction of justice. Investigators say she interfered with the investigation. The Sheriff's Office is still actively investigating and looking for Crook. Devante was a good young man and um, he deserved to still be here. Now the family is left wanting answers. If you know something, say something. I know they have this, this rule of don't talk on the about the streets, but what if it was your son? What if it was your brother? What if it was your uncle? What if it was your cousin, your friend, your grandson? It's not fair because my son is no longer here. They say he had the best smile and never met a stranger. He was the most um, caring, humbling person I ever met. Devante's family believes that he was a victim of domestic violence. Male domestic violence is real. It's unspoken in every community. And that they won't stop fighting for him. A funeral will be held for Griffin this Sunday at 3 o'clock at Cornerstone Baptist Church. His family tells me it's open to anyone who knew and loved him. In Spartanburg, Alessandra Young, 7 News. Spartanburg County Coroner's Office has ruled Griffin's manner of death a homicide.